Hello, hello. Tracy Crowder from Splash Fabric. I wanted to show you, um, do you guys know about table runners? Um, is that a thing that is common these days? I don't even know. But what I want to show you is how simple they are to make with two pieces of laminated cotton. Um, so if you have two half yards of any old laminated cotton, these are just happen to be the ones that we put in our October Fabric of the Month kit. Um, but whatever you have, you can take two pieces of fabric and make a reversible table runner lickety split. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the materials for this project are super simple. You need something to cut with. You need some way to make straight lines. You've got to make sure things are really straight. And you need two half yards of fabric. I'm going to use these for the purposes of our holidays coming up. And make sure that the fold is absolutely lined up straight on a um, on a straight line. And then I can make sure that I get this square and this one square. I'm going to cut as far over as I need to to get all of the selvage cut off. And that'll be the length of my table runner. It'll be around 56 inches, I think. Um, and but the most important thing is to have it be absolutely square because if it's not, you're going to run into problems when you try to stitch it together and have it not get twisty. Believe me, I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna just cut this off. I'm cutting it fairly proud of the, let's see, make sure that I've got a straight line. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Cut that square. So now I know that these two, that this, this edge and this edge are absolutely perpendicular. And then this, you can see it's a little bit twisty on here. That's normal. Um, so I'm going to need a longer straight edge just so that I can get this part square too. So I want this edge to be absolutely square to this edge, and I want this edge to be absolutely square also. Okay, so you quilters may know how to do this. But I'm putting this line, the one inch line on this ruler here, along this white line that I know is straight and perpendicular to the, to the edge of the fold. And then I'm going to draw a line where this starts to see this is, this is where the edge of the fabric starts. And the rest of it is not exactly square. So I'm going to fix that by using uh, some chalk here. Turns out I have some chalk, ha! Huh. Better than my um, than my ink pen, right? And then I'm going to make sure that this just continues the line all the way down. Alrighty then, quilters know how to do this stuff. I'm pretty sure you guys are all about making things straight and square. It's one of the reasons I never took up quilting. I'm not that good at straight and square. I'm sort of good at creative and wavy or creative and weird. I don't know. You can ask my husband what he thinks I'm good at, but um, that's how I roll. Okay, we'll do the same thing on this side where I have, I'm going to put this um, half inch line on um, the first straight line that I come to. Let's see. I'm going to cut off, yeah, I'll cut off like a quarter of an inch. It'll be fine. The most important thing is to get it straight and square. And if it's bigger or smaller than, you know, 18 inches by 56, nobody cares. It just has to be not puckery, if you know what I mean. Um, the other one I made, I made one before where I didn't really take this extra care to make it straight and square, and it wasn't. And I ended up with kind of a wavy edge. So I'm going to save you that trouble. And I am really kind of a scissors gal. 
I'm going to take this and I'm sewing everything except for I'm going to leave an opening. It's just like making a pillow case or anything else where you need to stuff it. Um, in this case, we're going to turn it inside out. So it's like making a placemat, a reversible placemat. So we're just going to leave an opening of about, yeah, the width of my hand. And I'm not a pinner. You may want to pin this or clip it, whatever you do. Um, and you're going to want to clip the corners as well. And then we got magic. Okay, so I've got the whole thing sewn. I turned it inside out, and then I take my safety pin, and I pull the corners out so that they're nice and square corners. And then what you're gonna do is top stitch this whole thing. And the reason I have this iron here um, is because I iron all the way along this edge. The trickiest thing about this whole thing is getting it absolutely square, so you don't have any bunching, but then also getting these, um, how do I describe this, this edge so that you have it folded flat out all the way to the inside stitching. And then you'll top stitch a quarter inch in all the way around this edge and at the, at the corner, and you can pin or you can clip it. Um, Either way, it's okay. The pins have a tiny hole that they put in it, but you can kind of heal it with your fingers. Um, so this opening, you just want to make sure that that gets caught in the top stitching because that will keep it from um, showing the inside. You want that edge to be flat. So this is what we made for the Fabric of the Month Club. Super simple, reversible table runner. Isn't that cute?